Hey guys, what's up? This is Nanya from Tech Barrack Solutions and today in this Mac tutorial we will learn how we can make a bootable SD card or a bootable USB device. First connect your USB or your SD card to your Macintosh and it should look something like this on your desktop. Once you have done that, just go to Spotlight and search for the application named Disk Utility. Open that application and in that application you, you should have your USB or SD card detected and as you can see there are two sub partitions of my SD card that is boot and disk 1 S2. So just select the main SD card or your main USB device which can consist of all the par sub partitions. Once you select that go to erase and in that select MS-DOS FAT or XFAT from the format menu and then you can name it anything you want. I would stick with untitled and then select raise. Again select raise and just wait for a few seconds till it gets completely formatted and once that is done just close disk utility now we need to open up terminal and we need to go through few commands for making our USB or SD card bootable so once terminal opens up type in cd space desktop whatever we are going to do is we are going to do through the desktop so make sure the image file that is it can be .img .is or whatever is on the desktop once you have the image file on the desktop then make sure that you go to the desktop on your terminal for that we have to type in cd space desktop once you do that type in sudo space disk util space list this will list all the devices that are connected to your macintosh it will ask you for the password so just type in your password of your macintosh once you do that you can see we have two disks connected one is disk 0 and disk 1 disk 1 is your is my sd card and disk 0 is my macintosh hd in your case it can be disk 2, disk 3 whatever depending on the number of devices that are connected. For me it is disk 1 and you can recognize it by the size as you can see it is 4 GB. So I know that this is my SD card. Once you recognize your disk you need to unmount that particular disk. So just type in sudo space umount space disk 1. It can be disk 2 or something else in your case. So I will be typing disk 1 and when I click uh, on enter and it's it immediately says that disk 1 is not currently mounted after that we have to unmount the sub partitions so the sub partition will be disk 1, s1, disk 1, s2 and so on and so forth so in my case it is only one that is disk 1, s1 so what I will do is type in disk I will type in sudo space disk util space u mount space disk 1 s1 and then click on enter now you can see my volume untitled on disk 1 s1 has been unmounted and even the icon disappears from the desktop now comes the main command that is writing the files to our SD card or your USB so just type in sudo space dd space bs equals to 4m space if equals to now just copy the entire name of your file that is the image file and paste it in here once you do that give a space and then type in of equals to the disk name so that is dev slash disk one that is the main disk so now make sure that you have written this command properly because this command can even cause severe problems with your SD card. Now after you have written this command, press enter. Once the files have been written to your USB or SD card, you will have something like this written on your terminal, which will confirm that these many amount of this much amount of data has been transferred. And now you can just eject your USB or SD card and you can just test it out. This is your bootable SD card or your USB. So that's it with this tutorial guys. I hope you liked it. Please rate, comment, subscribe and visit techbarrack.com.